want to say hi to our friends? Do you want to say hi to our friends? Oh, this guy does. This video is not about you, Junior. Welcome to the Sunshine Farm. I'm Jen, um, and today I want to talk to you about our golden retriever, Callie. So I was thinking of doing a series about each of the animals we have in the farm, um, whether it's an individual animal or a specific breed of animal we have here, and just talk a little bit about that animal, um, their temperament, what it's like having them here, and share some information on that for you guys so that if you're considering adding a certain animal to the farm, that you can have information beforehand to help you in that decision. She's so hard to hold. So, golden retrievers are not lap dogs because they're too big. <laughs> I can't put her on my lap. She's so heavy. Chris and I love rescuing and adopting, um, but Callie was not adopted. She was purchased from a breeder, and it was a great decision for us because we were able to be mentored in our first process of owning a dog and in training a dog. And we knew the kind of temperament she was going to have, as well as the traits that she would carry um, into adulthood, which can be hard to plan for when you rescue or adopt. Although there are so many amazing dogs at the shelter um, or at the local rescue, and we did do that with our second dog. So there's a few things I wanted to talk about when it comes to golden retrievers. The first thing is their nature. Very friendly, easygoing, docile. Our dog Callie, um, our friends and family know, know her as the happy dog. She's just always very happy. She's always sm smiling um, and you know, wagging her tail. She has a lot of different expressions, so she's always making funny faces. They have a wonderful temperament, um, but a little different than you know a Labrador Retriever or another type of Retriever. Um, definitely not as motivated to work. They just kind of are happy to be around you, but they don't necessarily want to go the extra mile. And I'm sure there's many exceptions. I'm sure many people would say, oh no, my Golden Retriever is very different. But in general, from what I've seen between the Golden Retriever and the Labrador Retriever, that's the biggest difference I would notice is their motivation to work. They're a little bit less motivated in that way, um, which is really nice if you're wanting a calmer, more docile dog. She's not that bouncy or, or crazy. Our Labrador, on the other hand, is definitely bouncing off the walls. Um, he just needs to work, he needs to get out, he needs to run, he needs to retrieve. Um, the Golden is a little different. So that's their temperament is the first thing to consider if you're looking at getting a Golden Retriever. The next thing to think about is the amount of grooming required, which um, is a big factor, especially lit when you live in a climate like ours, where the weather is always changing, you might have rain, and then you have mud, and then you have snow. And so it really requires consistent grooming to make sure that their fur isn't getting matted, their fur isn't getting lots of stuff stuck in it, that they're you know, not getting snow clumps in their paws. Um, so you want to make sure they're consistently groomed to be able to be comfortable in your climate. And for Callie, I brush her probably about once a week to make sure she doesn't have any mats in her, in her tail or her coat. But then I'm also trimming her fur every couple of months, um, specifically around her paws, her tail, and her ears, and then as well as the, the feathering on her legs. This is not a golden retriever. This is a Labrador retriever. And I will introduce him to you guys more fully in a different video. Goldens are prone to health issues. And we definitely saw this with our golden retriever in the beginning. Um, she did have urinary tract infections when she was a puppy. She grew out of those luckily, but they are prone to that. Um, they are also prone to heart issues. Most of them are um, genetic and can be identified when they're really young. Another fact about golden retrievers that we really love is they're generally really good with other animals. Um, we've never had a problem with Kelly with another dog, even more aggressive dogs she's been around and she gets along with really well. So she, she is a submissive dog, not all golden retrievers are submissive, but if they've been 
well socialized, that they'll generally be very happy to spend time time with other dogs. And she's so gentle with children. We've just been really, really happy with the temperament um, with other people and other animals. She's also been really good with the horses. Um, she's gentle with the bunnies. She's really good with the cats. She's just overall like a really, really easy dog. So if you're looking for a goofy, friendly, easygoing, beautiful pup, the Golden Retriever might be the right choice for you. If you're looking for a lot more energy and a lot of stamina, maybe look at the lab. Or if you're looking for a dog that is low maintenance in terms of grooming, um, a Labrador might be a better choice as well. And there are so many other breeds you could look at, as well as seeing if your local rescues or shelters have dogs that match your criteria. Um, always recommend looking there first um, before, before looking into a breeder. Good responsible breeders are a great choice too. Come here. Come here. Where are you going? See you later.